as we as we did uh the previous question uh actually working with the percentage uh regulation we managed to actually work with um a condition where you were given a certain percentage of an impedance and what you did was to work from that percentage remember you were given percentage impedance where i said it represents percentage resistance plus j percentage x and from there you obtain per unit resistance per unit reactance which you used to calculate the percentage of the regulation it was like that so questions they differ if you check this one we are given another condition here a 15 kva 3300 as to 600 volts single phase transform operating at no load has resistances and leakage reactances there we are given these ones so there we must be careful it's no longer what we had like previously and the same formula when i'm saying the same formula is that what you need is to calculate the approximate value of the secondary voltage at full low take note there all right when the primary is 3300 which is the one that we are given then we are still at that voltage but with the power factor of 0 0.8 like take note what they are saying they want you to calculate the approximate value of the voltage, secondary voltage at full load. It was at no load before, then at full load. When this lagging is considered, meaning to say a regulation, yes, okay, there is a voltage regulation there. There is a voltage regulation. There is a voltage regulation there. So how are we going to obtain that second? This is the new voltage from the introduction that I had about uh, the, the voltage regulation when I talked about that part of the north. I said, this is the new voltage that they want you to calculate. So since the second side we're talking about, V2 new. And I explained that it can be calculated if we are given the original voltage which is our V2, original 600. Remember, this is your V1, V2. Into what? One minus per unit regulation. If you still remember this formula, I'm just going to bring you back if you've forgotten uh, the introduction that I talked about here when I talked about this here. The secondary terminal voltage on load or at full load. It's V2 new. So considering it is telling us that there is a need of us having a regulation, the percentage, so that we can obtain per unit, but there, there is a need of us having per unit regulation there. So that is where we are forced, automatically there, we are forced to consider the percentage regulation wanting or not. There is no way. But what we need is per unit regulation, guys. I explained that. Instead of you multiplying by 100% this one, because what does it mean? Per unit regulation, it's simply from the percentage regulation, this one. From that, per unit regulation is simply a percentage regulation which was divided by 100. The moment you divided this, by 100%, guys, I said what you obtain is per unit regulation. So instead, on our formula, we don't multiply by 100%. And yes, you can multiply by 100%. I'm not saying it's wrong. You can multiply by 100%, but what is that you do? After getting a percentage divided by 100 So you see, guys, it will be... You used 100 You now remove that 100 So we are just going to take this part of the formula. So depending with the equivalent values of the resistance and the reactance, which ones are you going to consider? Is it of the primary? Is it of the secondary? You are not given a condition there. You are not given to say using. Last time it was referring to the secondary. You were told to refer to the secondary. They, they are not told. You just calculate. So it is you. 
who is going to choose? Are you going to work with the primary side or the secondary side? Okay. So in this case, I'm going to refer to the primary side. Since the last case, we dealt with this formula. Uh, this time, I'm going to use this one of the primary side uh, to obtain the per unit regulation first before we talk about that. So let's calculate per unit uh, regulation. So per unit regulation from percentage regulation over 100. If you divided this in a longer, you have the percentage. So you're just going to take that part off. Uh, that is going to be I1. So remember our formula, it was I1 into RE1 cos of phi. Uh, then we are dealing with a lagging power factor. Our power factor, it's lagging. So that's a plus. Lagging power factor. A minus for a leading. All right, so this is uh, reactance, equivalent reactance, the sign of what? The sign of phi, everything over what? Over V1 as we are considering the primary side. You can work with the secondary side. It's up to you. It's up to you. So this is what you need in order for you to have this. You need this. This is the missing part. But that missing part, look what is what is it that it, it, is, it is giving us. Are we having I1? No, we do not have. So we are going to calculate I1. Are we having the equivalent resistance as referring from of the primary side? We do not have. Cos phi, we have, that's our power factor. Are we having the equivalent reactance? No, we do not have. Are we having the sign of phi? We do not have. We are going to calculate it from the cos of phi. Are we having V1? We are given. These are the only two things that we are given, guys. Take note of all. So you must calculate all these. There's no way. That is the only formula that is limiting us. So let's start. Okay, so let's calculate this. Let's start with I1. So for I1, where do you think you're going to obtain I1 from? We are given the KVA rating of the transformer, 15 KVA, that is our apparent power. So we do understand that the apparent power is given by V1, I1, or it can be taken from V2, I2. If you wanted I2, you're going to work from I2, but you're dealing with I1, so you're going to work with I1. So you divide by what? By V1 both sides. So meaning to say I1 was going to be apparent power over V1. That is I1, our apparent power S, uh, the rating 15 kilo volt amperes, which is 10 to the exponent of 3, divided by V1, 3000 at this primary voltage that we are given, 3300. That was going to give us uh, the value of I1, which is 4,545. If you round off to three decimal places, you can fix your calculator to three decimal places, just like that. It's fine, depending on the instruction that you'll be given. Then we move on, RE, we do not have that. We refer to the primary side, so you're going to calculate our RE1. Take note, that is why we are given these to say the primary winding resistance. We have got R1, we have got X1. Secondary side, we've got R2, we also have X2. Remember, I talked about the method of referring the method of referring here, calculating of RE1, the, the result equivalent values. Refer to the primary side, RE1 is going to be R1. So these are the formulas that we are going to use to calculate RE1 and R uh, and XE1. If you are using the secondary side, you're going to use these formulas. It's up to you. Okay, so it's up to you. So in this case, I'm referring to the primary. So I'm going to work with the primary side. So on the primary side, we saw this is equivalent R1 plus R2 bar like this, which is considered as the reference of, this, uh, of the primary, which is R2 into N1 over N2 squared, K squared, the uh, transformer ratio, where I said, guys, from the introduction, remember I said this, is simply same as V1 over V2, which is same as I2 over I1. Remember your transformer ratio. So you're simply going to use V1 over V2, 3,300 over 600. So that is what you're going to have. So meaning to say our RE1 was going to be R1, the resistance, primary side, 9. You are given that 
plus the secondary side resistance that is added to 0, 0,6. So this is 0, 0,6 into the N1 over N2. You're going to use V1 over V2. Okay, so that's V1 over V2, 3,300 over 600, just like that. So this is raised to the exponent of two. This was going to give us uh, the value of RE1, which is 27,15 ohms. The equivalent resistance referred to the primary. We do the same thing. We need the reactants refer to the primary again. So XE1 is going to be, going to have this as X1 plus X2 bar, just like what we have on the resistance. So this is going to be given as X1 plus X2 into N1 over N2 squared. Remember, you're referring to the primary side. So that's it. We are going to obtain our value, X1, the reactance of primary and secondary are given. Primary reactance, it's 16. Secondary, it's 0, uh, 0, 0,9. 16 plus 0, 0,9. Remember N1 over N2, same as V1 over V2. 3,300 over what? Over 600. Raised to the exponent of 2, you are going to obtain the equivalent reactance of 43,225 ohms, referring primary side. With these, we can calculate, uh, let's see, Xe, what is it? We need the sign. Okay, there we need the sign of phi. So the sine of phi we're going to consider from the power factor. Okay, that is cos. So we also need that uh, from uh, the cos. Let's just find everything and finish up. All right, then we need the sine of phi in this case. So from what? From cos. So I talked about this, guys. So talk of phi, which is, uh, cos of phi, which is our power factor. That's 0, 0,8. So when you say phi is arc cos of this decimal 0, 0,8, that was going to give you uh, the angle. And this angle is the one that you use now to find the sign. That's 36, 8, 6, 9, and so on and so on. As it is on your calculator, find sign of the answer. As it is on your calculator, that sign of answer is sine of the angle, this one, which is going to give you 0, 0,6 direct, okay? Uh, I explained about how to determine this, so there, I don't think we've got a problem here. Uh, actually, it's the same values that we had on our introduction, 0, 0,8 as it is. So this is what we needed. Uh, we have got everything. Now, we can substitute this now to calculate the per unit regulation. This is per unit regulation if it is percentage times 100 percent it, be it becomes percentage so per unit don't multiply by and just use it as it is you are going to obtain a decimal which is the decimal percentage that we are supposed to have okay i1 we calculated this that's four comma five or five into r1 remember our r1 guys it is given above there which is what which is nine uh that is not going to change times the cos of phi which is our power factor that's 0, 0.8 since it is lagging we're gonna have a plus so that's plus xe we calculated this equivalent of the primary referring 43.2 to five times you are going to multiply to the sine and remember sine phi is 0, 0,6 so you're going to multiply this to 0, 0,6 everything that you are obtaining you divide to v1 remember at a primary voltage of what 3300 this was going to give us the per unit regulation that you were supposed to have it as a percentage, but we just ignore that. And that was going to be a 0, 0.0657. Just going to need three digits at least, guys, that are visible, like significant. With this per unit regulation, remember, this is not our answer, this one. It is helping us to calculate 
the new voltage. So in other question papers, they can uh, give this question separately. They will ask you to calculate first the per unit regulation or percentage regulation. You calculate percentage. From that, you use it now to calculate the new voltage. But the question was straightforward. Calculate the approximate value of the secondary voltage, which is V2 new. This is the one that you are referring to. So with this now, uh, percentage regulation, uh, I mean the per unit uh, regulation that we just calculated, we can calculate that voltage that is being asked. Okay, so from the formula that I stated, I said, uh, therefore, from our V2 new, uh, which is equal to V2 original into one minus per unit regulation, we have to substitute to obtain that voltage at full load. The V2 original is the voltage that we had originally secondary side, which was 600 volts on the secondary side. So that is the one that you have to substitute 600 into what? One minus per unit regulation, the decimal part of our regulation, 0, 0, uh, 0,0657. So this was going to give us the value of V2 new, just like that. And that was going to be 560. 0.58 volts. So it can be like that. So you see, this is what they wanted, but look how, or look the, the calculations, just the calculation that we had just to obtain this. It is not always where questions will be direct that you will see that, okay, here, uh, the percentage regulation or that formula is, is to be used. It can be in a disguised manner like this. You have to pick it out. So these are your typical questions, guys. Let's revise as much as we can till we meet again.